There's all kinds of fun stuff in Mark 113, so hang on, let's go. Kai ein inte eremo tesserakanta hemeras peradzamanas hupatu satana. Kai ein metaton therion kai hoi angeloi die kanun alto. And he was in the desert or the desolate lonely place forty days being tested by Satan, and he was with the wild animals and the angels, here's your imperfect, were ministering to him. Now there's all kinds of fun stuff going on. First of all, this time designation of how long. In the appendix, I call this the accusative of measure, Uh, When I was learning Greek, we always called it the accusative of time, how long. When Greek wants to say how long something takes, they put it into the accusative. So that's that category. The second question is the participle peradzamenas. And there are several possibilities here which will show the flexibility of participles. It could simply be a periphrastic. He was in the desert 40 days. He was there being tested. That's one possibility. Another possibility is what's called a participle of attendant circumstances. In other words, these were the circumstances that were attending the main action. But I think probably what's going on is that peradzamenos is a participle indicating purpose. In other words, he was in the desert for 40 days in order to be tempted by Satan. I think that this was a deliberate action on Jesus' part, and so it makes sense to say he went to the desert, and one of the, let's say maybe one of the purposes was in order to go through a time of testing by Satan. But participles can indicate purpose, and so you can add in words to help you make that clear. The other is this interesting word, it's an imperfect from diakoneo, and here's the problem. You can translate this just as a straight imperfect, and the category is called a progressive imperfect, a pastime ongoing action. Here's the problem, though. Well, what is the problem? So the whole time he was being tempted by Satan, he was also being ministered to by angels? That doesn't really fit the story, does it? Well, there's another use of the imperfect called the ingressive or inceptive imperfect. And normally you have an imperfect right as a line, and you're somewhere in that line. And the progressive use of the imperfect would just say, this is what I'm I'm talking about, that whole process. However, in an imperfect, you can be emphasizing the beginning of the action. And we call that the ingressive or inceptive, imperfect. And so you'd have to add a word like began, and the angels were beginning to serve him. And certainly that's what's going on here. Certainly Jesus was being tempted by Satan on a one-on-one situation. And when that was over and the time of being in the desert was over, the angels came and they began to minister to him. So it's a contextual thing. You got to figure out from the context. But I think it creates a very confusing picture to simply translate diakonun as a just a regular imperfect. And so whenever that happens, you go, okay, what are the other uses of the imperfect or whatever be the case or tense you're looking at and saying, what are the other options? Well, you can have the ingressive imperfect and the angels began to minister to him. And the, the point of it being an imperfect is that the ministering of the angels occurred over a period of time. The phrasing's pretty straightforward, but it's kind of fun to do it. So you have your connector, and he was in the desert. How long? For 40 days. Why was he there? In order to be tempted by Satan. And what else was going on? Well, he was with the wild beasts, and finally... The angels started to minister to him. 
to save space, I think I'm going to put the time designation back up there, and that gives me a little more space. So you're going to indent your connectors. He was there for that long. Why was he there? There you go, for 40 days. And also, what was going on? He was with the wild beasts, and so he had this connection, which is nice. And the angels were ministering to him. So it's pretty straightforward. But So he was in the desert 40 days. Why? In order to be tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts. And the angels began to minister to him. 